The shocking death of 31-year-old former NHL hockey player Jimmy Hayes is shedding new light now on the opioid crisis here in the United States. This week, we learned a synthetic opioid called fentanyl contributed to his death. This, as the CDC reports, over 96,000 overdose deaths in the past year. That is a record high in the U.S. We want to bring in someone who is trying to fight all this, and Mill Graham, administrator of the Drug Enforcement Agency. Ma'am, thank you so much for being here. How do you, how do you explain the numbers? Why the record year? Thank you for having me, TJ. Um, this has been a historic year in a tragic way. We are seeing an increase in overdose deaths that are being fueled by synthetic opioids, by fentanyl. We're seeing it in all 50 states of the United States. Every single day, 250 Americans are dying from overdose deaths, and many others are overdosing. It's an epidemic of opioids. It's also an overdose crisis that we're seeing. And, and uh, even though we're hearing these headlines, we see these headlines, the DEA seizing uh, large amounts of fentanyl, you're saying that the real threat is inside our homes. Explain. Yes, well, to, to sort of look oh, at, at a higher level just for a minute, what we're seeing is that there are criminal drug networks in Mexico that are getting chemicals from China and they are manufacturing fentanyl and methamphetamine. The fentanyl is flooding into the United States. Much of that is coming across as counterfeit fake pills. A lot of it is also coming across as fentanyl powder. So when we say that we're seeing increases, we should be clear that we're seeing record amounts. Every single year, we're seeing more and more fentanyl come into the United States and it's deadly at rates we've never seen. What we're doing tomorrow is we're doing DEA's national take back day. What we're basically telling everyone is that you have in your medicine cabinets, I have it, you have it, we've got unneeded medicine, prescriptions that have come to us from doctors that we're not using, and many people leave them in their medicine cabinet. That's not safe. We know that a majority of Americans who have become addicted to opioids first started with a prescription pill that they found in their medicine cabinet or the medicine cabinet of family and friends. So it is not safe to keep any medicine that you are not using, that you do not need in your medicine cabinet. And so what we do is twice a year and tomorrow from 10 to 2 at 4,000 locations over the U.S., we're saying bring us all of it. Give it back to us. We'll destroy it. It's anonymous and it's free. And it's really important to make your home as safe as you possibly can. Okay, let's, can we go back to fentanyl for a second? What is this stuff? You, you called it, you said fake pills and powder. But this is something that's 80 to 100 times stronger than morphine. Can, can you break this down for us a little better? Because it seems like something, how would I normally just come across this in my day-to-day -day life? But where is this stuff and what is this? This is a great question. When, when I started my job, I'd heard about fentanyl, but I did not understand how pervasive it is or how deadly it is. Fentanyl is a th synthetic opioid. It is prescribed. It's often prescribed in hospitals as patches it's, uh, when that's part of the legitimate supply chain. So fentanyl is it's an opioid. It is an extremely strong, highly addictive opioid. What the criminal drug cartels have done is they have figured out how to make this in factories. So it's synthetic or man-made fentanyl. They're basically getting chemicals. Most of those are coming from China and they're building factories throughout Mexico. They're manufacturing this incredibly deadly, highly addictive opioid. We then see it coming into the U.S. as powder or these fake pills. And it's important to note those fake pills are made to look just like they were real prescription pills. So like Vicodin or Percocet or Adderall. And they're preying on the fact that we're in the middle of an opioid epidemic in the U.S. and that people are looking for, sometimes young people, older people are looking for pain pills or other pills. They're buying these online. They're not real pills. They're actually, they're fentanyl or they're meth. And so we say all the time, one pill can kill. Only take a prescription that is given specific to you. And just to come back to, to National Take Back Day, it's one of the reasons we want people to take the medicines out of their medicine cabinet because someone else could be in your house. It could be your child. It could be a neighbor. It could be a, a friend of your child. It could be a grandparent, a worker. We don't want you to have any medicines in your medicine cabinet that could lead to addiction. So we want to prevent that as much as we can. And how, do, how and where do we break the chain? We know there are lawsuits against uh, big pharmacies and probably more to come, but it, it, do we point the finger at pharmacies? Do we point the finger at doctors or even at us as parents? How do we stop this epidemic? 
So I think we have to do everything we can, and that includes at DEA, our mission is to save lives, make our communities safer and healthier. We do it through law enforcement. We just had a massive national takedown with more than 800 arrests. We seized millions of fake pills. We also do it through education. Right now, I think a lot of people don't realize that there is a danger lurking in their medicine cabinet. And what we want to do is help everybody make their homes as safe as possible, take out all that unneeded medicine. Well, I mean, but we've got to do it all. Yeah, I mean, we're applauding you uh, because this is uh, obviously a huge crisis and there's so much to learn for parents, for everyone here dealing with this. But we appreciate all your service and all that you're doing to try and stop this administrator of the Drug Enforcement Agency and Milgram. Thank you for being on the program. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.